on Sly here with Flo and Flo. Let's check out this video right now. Look, we're watching it right now. Uh, Javon Kinlaw, man, he's out there doing work. What do you think, man? We got Hargrave out there, but do you see him out there training? What do you think, man? We're gonna keep Kinlaw? Look at these moves right there. <laughs> All right, man. It's pretty much same story, different chapter of exactly what happened last year. What was this guy doing? He was putting out all these videos him <laughs> training yeah it looks good through through film but it's what you do on that field man and mm -hmm. what he does on the field is pretty much nothing for us man yep. if come on let's be real man when he was in the game it seemed like he was getting blown up half the time mm -hmm. and the part that freaking made it so much worse is they got rid of one of my favorite players for this oh, guy man. in buckner you know me i'm a big oregon guy him and armstead they actually went to the uvo when i was there so i like both those guys and then they got rid of buckner who was a pro bowler for the 13th pick in the draft the colts that's why me and you say never trade away talent mm -hmm. and it's because we end up with guys like kinlaw and i hate to bash him but he's just not a right fit for us and i'm pretty sure he's out now with the hargrave pickup but what do you think man yeah man you're gonna be paying them about five million dollars if you cut them i think you're gonna save five million dollars so right now they're talking about they're opening up to uh, negotiations with other teams dude i honestly ought to be mine to train up for a bag of peanuts at this point man i'm sorry dude he right he on that nfc championship game that was just pathetic man he was getting blown up badder than monica Lewinsky. it was really that bad where it was I just couldn't watch it anymore, man. Just seeing how bad he played. And I wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt. You know, last year he said that he would guarantee he's going to have a big season. And it didn't happen, man. And when he was healthy, he wasn't good. When he wasn't playing, you know, it was the same old story. He was hurt for three years with us. And he was hurt in college, hurt in high school. So a lot of red flags out there. It was a big mistake what John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan did. Parag and those boys. Um, but I think they made up with Hargrave. And I don't think you're going to be paying them back up that much money. Because we still have uh, little places to fill up we have to fill up our draft that we're gonna have in a few years i think we have uh, what 11 picks something like that so you're, gonna, so you're gonna have to get rid of some players cut some fat out there to sign these young guys and um honestly i'm sorry man but he just he's not it man he's not it for us and it's time to move on to me i would like to sign that guy a uh, hearst who was hurt last year but give him a chance i think he will could sign him for like one million dollars or something like that he's on the low right now so let's sure up that defensive line but i don't think javon kinlaw's the guy man i really don't i see these videos before like you said we've seen that man and last year he was putting in work but it just it didn't show on the field so like that one guy once said fool me once shame on you you can't be fooled again man so i'm sorry man just no way in hell these videos aren't fooling me anymore man yeah especially since last year he was motivated to show grant Cohen what was up yeah he was telling him he's like after his epic, hey, you were on my nuts com yeah. comment. He said he was in a ball out. He didn't do it. I think that was it for him. He had his time, and I think it's time for him to hit the road. Hopefully yeah. the Niners uh, feel the same way, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, man, I don't think you could pay a backup that much money, you know, just, and you know, we don't know what the hell's going to happen. He'll probably get hurt by week two. And even he, if he is healthy, I've never seen him, man. I've noticed all last year, at the week one, I'm like, man, this guy's slow as hell. And even in this video, man, he looks like he has stone legs. That's how he plays, man. That's just how he plays. No offense to him, but he's just not a player, a great player. He looks like Tarzan, plays like Jane, unfortunately, man. All right, well, you guys let us know in the comments what you guys think about the Javon Kinla situation. What would you do? Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. See y'all next time. Peace. Peace.